game of the night. Bus of us will join you in just a moment because it was the championship game. Japan, USA, Shohei firing his troops up. It was former teammates, or I should say teammates, the Angel teammates, Shohei, Mike Trout in the final. Top of the second, no score. Trey Turner at the plate. And is there anyone hotter than Trey Turner in the WBC? That's his fifth home run of the class. It's one nothing USA. We get to the fourth. Japan now leading two to one. Kaz Kazuma Okamoto turns on this slider and it's gone. Japan, they're going to extend the lead here three to one. So we get to the ninth. Same score. Otani comes in for the save. He's walking Jeff McNeil. He'd have to face Mookie Betts and Mike Trout back to back. Now, facing Betts, and he gets him. They hit into the four, six, three double play. So now they're just one out from a win. And it's Mike Trout. This is what we want to see. And he gives him the heater. That would even the count, one and one. A couple of pitches later, two, one count. Throws another one, 100 miles an hour, right past Trout. You can see Trout's like, ah, I got to turn on this thing. Next pitch. Throws it to the backstop. So it's 3-2. Here we go. 3-2. Two. two out and gets him with the slider. Otani strikes out Trout. Japan gives their first World Baseball Classic Championship win since 2009. Afterwards, Showtime. Shohei talking about facing his teammate Mike Trout. Uh, 素晴らしいバッターと対戦できて最高の瞬間でした。Obviously didn't come out the way I wanted to. Um, you know, I think uh, as a baseball fan, I think that's you know everybody wanted to see it. He won round one. Uh, <laughs> no, it's you can't take it any away from it. Just to be able to come out of the bullpen, you know, as a starter and you know, showtime. All right, listen, we got to bring in the authority, Buster Olney, because bus a bus, this was the dream matchup. Otani versus Trout to end the game. How would you describe that moment? What did it mean to this tournament? What do you think it meant to the sport? Yeah, Cus, this was a dream come true for Major League Baseball, for the Player Association, which effectively co-owned the WBC. And maybe dream is the operative word. You remember in 1992, when the NBA put together Magic Johnson and Larry Bird and Michael Jordan, everybody was inspired by the question of what's that going to look like? Well, when the WBC started, everyone wondered what's it going to look like if Shohei Otani faces his good friend, his teammate, Mike Trout. And in the games leading up to it, incredibly compelling. The Trey Turner Grand Slam, the comeback by Japan a couple of nights ago. And then last night, this tournament ends with the best player in the world facing the second best player of the world, Shohei Otani versus Mike Trout. And this was incredibly important to have maybe the most watched moment in the history of baseball going into this year when baseball is implementing all these rule changes. It was the perfect result, the perfect event for baseball as it goes into the 2023 season. I know everybody here who was watching the classics saw how Trey Turner was swinging a hot bat, but Otani, without question, was probably the best player in the tournament. I mean, not only from a pitching standpoint, but hitting. He's in the final year here uh, with his contract in the Angels, and I think everybody wants to know, mm -hmm. will he finish the season as an Angel? Yes, it's going to be the year of Otani. There's no doubt about it. Think about it. In the WBC, he had the hardest hit ball, 118 miles an hour. He had the hardest pitch ball, 102 miles per hour. And yes, I think the Angels will keep him throughout the year. Their owner, Artie Moreno, is on the record as saying, if we're competing, we're going to keep him, and then he'll become a free agent. And Brian, the question at that point is, is, is the offer that he signs start with the number five or start with the number six? $500 million plus, $600 million plus. I think it's going to be $600 million plus because there's nobody else in baseball that can do what he can do, that can replicate his production, replicate his marketability. We're going to be talking about him through the trade deadline. We're going to be talking about him going into the offseason and all the way through free agency. Mets, Dodgers, maybe the Yankees, maybe the Mariners, and the Angels trying to keep him. It's going to have enormous bidding for the best player in the world.
Wow, I remember when A-Rod signed that contract and it was like 200 something million dollars. You talked about 500 million, 600 million dollars. I'm th I know parents are like, yo, let me give little Johnny or little Susie a bat. <laughs> and if they're left-handed, show them how to throw that curveball uh, because that's ridiculous money. All right, so how do we now square the success of what we saw with this tournament with the injuries we also saw? I mean, Edwin Diaz, Jose Altuve, and of course, their teams, their fan bases, they got to deal with the consequences of those injuries. Brian, there'll never be a day when major league teams are comfortable with the WBC because they have so much at stake. The Mets with Edwin Diaz, the Astros with Jose Altuve. But this event in 2023 was so successful, forget it. Uh, moving forward, the teams are just going to have to get used to the idea that their best players are going to go and participate in this event. Rob Manfred told reporters last night, yes, we'll be back in 2026. Oh, it's great. Bust it was showtime. It was the dream matchup. I think everybody wanted to see. Jessica Mendoza joins us here on Get Up. Okay, Jess, so how would you describe, what do you think, I know we talked to Buster Olney about this, what do you think that moment, what did it do for the tournament, what do you think it did for the sport? Can we just dive into that moment for a second? I mean, first of all, I mean, you talked about the setup, getting to that 3-2 pitch, but let's rewind a bit in the fact that Shohei Otani has never been in a moment that big. We know it, right? He plays for the Angels. We haven't seen him in these high pressure nerves are flowing and you couldn't ask for a better opponent when you think about Mike Trout what he means to the game I mean you couldn't have scripted it better but let's just talk about that slider for a second are you kidding me three two this is what you see from the goats the greatest of all times when you see Michael Jordan Tom Brady it doesn't matter it comes down to those moments Otani has accomplished everything in the sport but to have that championship moment that pitch executed against Mike Trout that was the biggest thing that I've seen from him in his entire career. Yeah, Otani was great in the in the classic. I mean, ERA under two, hit over 400 uh, in the World Baseball Classic. G give me the single be biggest reason why, in your opinion, that Japan walks away with another uh, WBC title, considering they were the only team that was unbeaten throughout the entire tournament. Brian, they make contact, period. I know there were home runs hit, and I understand the power of the long ball, but if you go back, I, I encourage any young baseball player. I mean, it starts with the top large new bar. I mean, you look at their lineup. I played in Japan for a decade. They make contact. You think about the at-bats to get to the big at-bat. Honestly, they don't swing and miss. And that is something that is so gone from our game. And Japan has always been so disciplined, understanding the strike zone and honestly how to get to the pitch that you hit out. I get that they had two solo home runs, but the difference maker for me in that game was the at bat where Lars Newbar grounded out to be able to score the run. I mean, we're talking about a weak ground ball with two strikes. When do you see that contact being made in our game anymore? But you see in Japan, that to me was the difference in why they won. Okay, so let's go big picture here, Jess, because how do you think this 2023 WBC and its impact uh, did for baseball, let's say globally, because I was taken aback that there were even a number of major leaguers who said this means more to them than maybe even winning a World Series. What do you think? Uh, baseball wins. Brian, I mean, honestly, when you look at the impact that this made, not just in our country, I mean, obviously having the players that we had, the star players, that lineup was ridiculous. But let's like look globally. Over 100 million people were watching from the country of Japan. You look at the numbers, the TV ratings, the stadium records. I mean, every single game was sold out. Korea, the numbers, over 60 million people watching there. I mean, yes, in our country, it is huge. But globally, the impact that this game, this tournament had, I want this to be something that, honestly, you think about opening day is here in a week and a half. But the passion, the stars, this is what we've always wanted. As an Olympian, I've always wanted this for baseball in the Olympics. The World Baseball Classic is the Olympics for the sport. Uh, well said. Listen, we win when we have Jessica Mendoza on Get Up. So we appreciate your insight, Jess. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.